Okay, so we're starting a 15 minute 10. We're on what I've termed as the hardest chess site in the world. Over the many years of me playing chess, this site has proved to be the most difficult one. I'll keep on saying it because it's just appreciating the absolute strength of the players that you play against on this particular site. So now that we know this, um, we can look to basically develop our chess appropriately. So we've got to try and not make errors for ourselves and look at the way that the opponent is moving. So I'm going to bring the knight out. I don't think I brought this out for a while, you know, defending the pawn here. And again, chomping at the bit to go and get castled, you know, that's me rushing them mentally go that way. Um, but we have been opening here. I'm going to push up with the pawn. So both bishops have got diagonals to come out. And we could instantly, I was just going to say, just take. I think I'm taking here. I don't see there's been a problem with that. Yeah, I feel happy. I'm going to bring the bishop out and x-ray through to the king. So we don't need to move so fast either. We could take and double the pawns. So I think I'm going to take and just keep it simple, not get over. I'm going to bring the queen just to put a check on the king. Obviously the bishop can come and defend. That's pretty straightforward. We might get tempo to castle, get the rook here and face off the bishop, but I don't think we will because they'll castle, get their rook in place. But they're not doing any of that, so I'm going to take because the queen can take the pawn back with a check on the king. So it gives us plus one. Also, this pawn is here, but I think they may now decide to go and defend with the queen. So we won't be able to take the pawn, so we'd have to take the queen because our king is behind. If they go with the bishop, I do think we've got free reign to go and get the rook. But I don't think we'd get the rook because the check would be on the king, but the bishop would actually come here and the queen is defending them. Yeah, so that's what's going to happen. So we'll take the pawn, but the bishop comes and defends. Yeah, so we can't get the rook. So we can still come back here, leaning on to the bishop. Don't think there's anything else. We don't need to be too greedy. Let's just bring it back. Hopefully maybe we can get castled now. Don't want to overwork the queen. Need to improve the position. Now it's continuing the attack, so it's giving me things to think about. Queen can come here attacking the pawn, X-ring through to the rook. I think we'll do that, still maintaining x-ray through to the queen, king, sorry. And we don't need to move this fast, I mean, I've not even broken the 15. But there seem to be obvious positions that we can take. Okay, right now the pressure is on. Castle. There is a space here. For a check on the king but i don't want to overwork the queen and i think i need to be improved okay so he's hitting us anyway so we'll put the check on the king i wanted to hold on to that as a little bit of a you know um surprise once i've developed my pieces but it's not allowing me to do that which is good that's good for them give them things to think about So the king's moved off of the line. Can now attack his bishop queen, sorry. Just linking up our rooks. I think we'll do that. So he's not moved his queen, he's gone and attacked our queen. 
this bishop doesn't have any protection on so we can take the bishop nice strike but then what was the pawn protecting so little things like that trying to take advantage of They move the queen out of the way. Bishop still got the line. Bishop could come here to attack the rook, but then the rook probably just comes here for a two on one. So that might be a bit of a waste. Knight could come here to attack the bishop. Obviously, the rook can either go here or go here, but it's not going to go there because the bishop will take. So the rook will probably come here. Or we can just attack their queen. So if we bring the rook here, or maybe this rook. Bring this rook and attack the queen. It's probably this side because it'll still be protecting the bishop. I suppose it could still come here as well, protecting the bishop. Or, yeah, one of those two. Still moving too quick, but they seem to be obvious movements that I don't need to overthink in any way. Oh, he's gone far away. So he's attacking the bishop, but the bishop's protected. Attacking the knight, but the knight's protected. The bishop has got no protection on, so the rook may be coming to attack the bishop. Doesn't look too deadly against us, does it? So I think I'm going to take the bishop with the queen. Pawns attacking the bishop. Could bring the bishop here and attacking. Or could just take bring the rook up here if the pawn takes, rook takes. That looks a bit too arty though, doesn't it? Bishop attacking the rook. Rook drops down opposite our queen. Ooh. Don't like them apples, do we? Um, take the pawn on the rook. Oh, it could go all over the place, this one. Right, am I missing something? Just take a bit of time now. Could just move the bishop out of the way. Could just block. This is just going to chase it down a bit, isn't it? I feel like I'm missing something. I'm going to bring the bishop here and attack the rook. And as we mentioned, probably just here. The thing I'm sort of panicking about is in getting his other rook, you know, getting his rook here, getting them all working together, then we're losing some sort of advantage. Knight could come here to attack the rook. What's his queen doing? There's not, nothing major there, I can't see it. So we'll bring the knight up and attack the rook. I'm trying to not get this rook in the game. Queen down. So it can't really, well it can, but it gets taken. If it comes to support, the things get taken. Queen. So it does look like it's lost in some way, shape, but does it improve our position still? It's taken. Okay, so his rook's probably coming here, yeah. So I'm going to attack their queen. With the support of the knight, we've got to check on the king afterwards. Queen doesn't have to take. Annoyingly, it can go here. Can go here. Thinking in a way, if he does go like that, I suppose the knight can come here, but then the king drops here. Obviously, we just take the rook off the board at that point.
I'm gonna do take, so take with a check. King moves close, <clears throat> get his rook off the board, his king takes the knight, we've got two rooks against his king. That should be all she wrote, really. Uh, just bring this rook across now, try and avoid any stalemates. Okay, and just grab. Just keep grabbing, he's trying to get into some sort of stalemate position now with his king. Let's just push. Just keep pushing. He gets all his pawns down, but he's still got life with the pawns. Alright, that's another interesting game. Like I said, this is a very difficult site to work through, so I'm constantly looking to find the better moves all the time, block off what the opponent's attempting to do, and as we're going through, as we're going through developing the quality of our games, like I said before, this is not a rating ladder, the rating ladder climb or anything like that. It's not showboating, oh yeah we can beat lower rated players, nothing like that. It's all about the quality of the games and so far at this moment in time the answer process appears to be working quite nicely but as we've mentioned and I'll keep on mentioning there are extremely strong players on this site. It's the hardest site in the world in my opinion 